we the novices from IPN Trichy are here to present before you the footprints of our mother Claudine Eschen here in our life. Notable people do notable things for they take notice of the unnoticed. They think beyond our thinking. They look beyond what we all look. They try, fail and try again. They dare unrelentingly. They don't die with their purpose. They die on their purpose. Though they die, their purpose ever lives. We are proud to say that one among the great is our dear mother Claudine Eschenier. Gentleness. Gentleness is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I always admire the gentleness of our mother Claudine. She was gentle in everything. Gentle in her teaching others. Gentle in her dealing with others. Gentle in her communication and gentle when things are out of hands. She suffered silently with Christ and gave her best time and energy to God. She respected every person as God would. Our mother was always with the people, spreading the fragrance of her gentleness through love, care, and affection. She was never tired of doing what is good for Christ. She lived for the greater glory of God. So, as we celebrate our Mother Founders Day, I would like to invite her gentleness as my way of life. I wish and pray that you too be inspired by this royal virtue of our Mother Claudine. Our Mother Claudine was a joyful person in the ebb and flow of her life. I found in our mother's life that she was a joyful person. She kept herself to be joyful always, even in the midst of humiliations and pains. Once she told to Father Peter Mermier through the letter that I am very happy with the humiliations I encounter because of my ignorance and incapability. There is only one need to become a joyful person, that is, to love Jesus Christ. Yes, those who love Jesus Christ will be very happy. Yes, our mother is a person who loved Jesus Christ 100%. She made use of all the opportunities to love Jesus and to be loved by Jesus. Thus, she became a joyful witnesses of his mission. Drawn by the joyful witnesses of Mother Claudine Eshani, I wish to practice this spirit in my life. I wish and pray that you too be fascinated by this spirit to bring many more people closer to God. Love for Jesus Christ I indeed wonder at our mother foundress as I reflect her virtues, especially her love for Jesus Christ. She spent a long time with the Lord and often visiting the Blessed Sacrament. Once, she wrote in her letter to Father Mermier that those who love Jesus Christ will be very happy. She also said that, I desire to know Him better and make Him known to others. She carried Jesus within her always. Her deep union with Jesus made her to say that, I am nothing, I can do nothing. God seeks His glory because He alone is all-powerful. But united with Jesus Christ, we become strong. These things enable me to have a deep attachment to Christ by spending quality time for my prayer and making a frequent visit to the Blessed Sacrament. I wish you to have the same spirit of our Mother Claudine. A courageous woman. Our Mother Claudine was a courageous heroine. 
we see her courage in her tender age itself after her mother's death she took up the role of the mother she was courageous when her father was in prison she was courageous in the midst of the misunderstanding when she was working in the presbytery whenever people were mocking at her she was not discouraged but went about doing what is right at the start of our congregation she was scared to take up the new responsibility she draw the strength and courage from the lord and she said a courageous yes i learned from my mother to be courageous i wish you dear sisters to be courageous in rain and shine humility i would like to say something about our mother claudia's humility she was humble before people and great before god she was happy with the humiliations that she encountered because of her ignorance and incapacity she never looked down on anyone her slogan was i am nothing and i can do nothing she realized her nothingness in her spiritual relationship with god she was also telling the sisters that it was necessary for christ to renounce oneself and die as a grain of wheat there are three signs of a humble person first they don't go around saying they are humble second they talk less and listen more third they choose being at peace over being right once mother claudine had told the novices during the recreations that the more humble and hidden we are the greater will be our surprise i have decided to imitate the humility of our mother claudine in my life i wish you all the same hello sisters i would like to share with you one of the virtue of our mother claudine eschenia i always admire in her her love for the cross from her tender age to till the end she kept up this spirit her spirituality was centered mainly on the love of the cross of jesus and the crosses of community life she also instructed our sisters by saying more than common people you must have it always before your eyes and between your hands and hearts you must know it and study it night and day you must practice and carry its lesson in everything and everywhere you must love it above all and love nothing good without it our mother foundress always walked the talk there is no gap between her words and deeds our mother expected the postlings and novices to be more humble and generous to long for the cross she wished to have her daughters only who can stand willingly and courageously under the cross i am so much awakened by this spirit yes dear sisters it is my wish and pray that you too will be drawn by this virtue of mother claudine eschenia right yes our dear mother founders claudine eschenia was a righteous person before god and others when we see the life of our dear mother we can understand that she received this virtue from her biological father francis eschenia he was a righteous man in all his duties a pious woman of her neighborhood who admired her simplicity and righteousness soon took a liking to her and admitted her into her intimacy the woman soon realized in little claudine that she was the right person to share all her secrets the little shepherdess very soon made friends with her new companions there are many personalities called as righteous by their virtuous life we have many examples in the holy bible for example in the book of genesis joseph the son of jacob was righteous Job the example for righteousness Saint Joseph the spouse of the blessed virgin Mary was a righteous man Finally I like to add one more name in this list 
that is our dear mother Claudine. I have learned this great lesson from our dear mother. It is my prayer and wish that you have the same spirit as we celebrate our mother Founders Day. Sacrifice I always wonder at the sacrificing spirit of our mother which also adorns her life. At her house, she had only leisure time to play. Thus, her mother suffered from ill health. She always needed her daughter's help in order to finish the work in the house. By helping her parents, she sacrificed her own natural time for enjoyment and preferred the game of helping her parents, which she did with great joy. I could also notice that the same spirit had been continued all through her religious life. She made all the sacrifices to her sweet Jesus with whole heart and with pleasure. As we are celebrating our Mother Founders Day, I would like to inculcate the same spirit of sacrifice. Thus, I may also sacrifice my time, energy and talents for the welfare of others and to please God. I wish you also the same. We walk daily, we go everywhere, we meet everyone and we leave behind footprints of our existence. The footprints of Mother Claudine Eschernia is very precious for us. They are her values, sacrifices, lessons and commitments. She was strong, she was humble, she was selfless and filled with love. Her love for the cross never decreased, her faith in humility increased. She left behind a legacy, she left behind for us to see what beautiful. So let's follow her simplicity. So let's follow her simplicity. Happy Mother Founders Day.